Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, it is Friday morning. Unfortunately, it's a little cloudy, and earlier in the week it said there was uh, no threat of rain. Now we've got a little bit of a threat of rain between one and three, I think, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, oh, look, look at Amanda sneaking up in the background, trying to photobomb. So we're getting ready to open up the curtains here in just a few minutes, but I do have to say I'm a little bit happier this morning with YouTube. Uh, apparently Wednesday's video that had been flagged for unsuitable has now been approved. Like they all are. This is what's so stupid about this whole thing is there's nothing wrong with the video. It's the algorithm that's just being way too picky. So anyway, I had actually re-edited yesterday's video to come out today and they flagged it once, had to re-edit it again, whatever. Same old, same old at this point, right? And I'd actually made the approved version go live for about 30 seconds this morning when I realized that yesterday's video had been approved. So to put them in order, I shut that video down. So the 10 of you that watched that before I canceled it, I apologize. Um, and now, so we're a day behind now. So, you know, today's Friday and you're gonna be watching Wednesday's video. And then Saturday, you'll watch Thursdays instead of whatever. But anyway, let's turn things around. Let's get these curtains opened up and then get our day started. All right, all opened up and ready for business. Uh, had a motorcycle pull in. I don't know if he's here for us yet. He's talking to the taco people, but uh, maybe, just maybe we'll get some work right away. We also have another visitor over here. This uh, beautiful young lady came by to show us her Riker. I guess she got some accessories on there that Katie might be interested in. What is this doing? Turn. <laughs> And it looks a whole lot better too. So we were correct. This gentleman did come here to see us. Turns out he is one of the longtime followers of the channel he's got this gorgeous motorcycle that was uh, built by fury customs down in atlanta if you guys are familiar with fury customs i don't actually know any of the guys there so it's not like a paid sponsorship or anything but they build some really nice bikes they've been in a lot of my videos so obviously beautiful motorcycles go well in the type of videos that we make so i've i filmed them quite often they were with us in ocean city they're set up with us in um daytona beach as well so we get some of their motorcycles quite often. Oh, even Panama City, they're there with us in that lot as well, but they do very nice work, it looks like. It's weird that there's no left. All right, guys, so I've thrown Katie's Riker up on the lift because I noticed something when I was riding it the other day. I went out to pick up some parts from uh, the O'Reilly Auto Parts store over in uh, Socrates and as I was sitting in one of the lights, I happened to look inside the hand guards and there's the writing and a part number inside the hand guards. And the one that's on the left side says RH in the part number, but it's upside down. And uh, the one on the right side says LH in a part number. So I'm thinking that they're backwards. Somebody put the right hand one on the left side and the left side on the right side. And uh, so we're gonna fix it, see if it looks any better or if it's any better or if it makes any difference whatsoever. Hey guys, Amanda's trying to sit on Gus's bike. Some people don't realize how short she is, so she actually tries to get on a motorcycle. So it's a real subtle difference, but it actually does look a little bit better with them flipped around the right way because there's different angles. When you look at it from the front, you can see that downward angle. And when they were upside down, there were two screw holes in the bottom, which I'm assuming are for like another accessory or wind deflector that you could add on there, but they were facing up and it just kind of looked weird. Now it's a nice clean look. Anyway, I went ahead and went through and checked all the fluids as well, because remember, 
we just bought this we did an oil change on it like two days after we bought it and since then we've put about 900 miles on it so i just wanted to kind of check and make sure we weren't having any losses or anything and everything's looking really good now it is a mess so i think we're gonna go ahead and clean it up as well i mean after all we're at a car wash all right so i went ahead and pulled the Riker off the lift and carson is over there giving it a bath so it's nice and clean and uh, luckily, we got two more bikes coming in for service. One of them was just a rear brake flush. They were having little issues getting it to work. And the other one is a Supreme oil change. So at least we're getting a little bit of something today, a little bit early. Still kind of a slow morning, but we got a few more up on the lift now. guys and i don't know if you knew it or not but it turns out gus has a youtube channel and i actually just watched a video that he posted uh yesterday when he was off doing the rodeo on wednesday i believe it was and he filmed it with a 360 camera it actually came out pretty good guys so go check out his channel it's called life behind bars ftw a uh, pretty small channel i guess he just started it but you know gus is a really cool guy and i'm willing to bet he's gonna have some pretty good content in there so go check it out i'll put a link to that video in the description below and uh you know what? i'll put it right here as well well unfortunately our taco truck has left it apparently they had another engagement this weekend that they had to do as well but they did bring a hot dog cart it's kind of sitting right back here behind this motorcycle a little bit but i think they're going to move it up to the corner which is kind of a good thing because I don't want to eat a bunch of hot dogs anyways. It gives us better visibility from the street because the taco truck was kind of blocking our view. But here we are at quarter after 2 p.m. and it's still so slow that we haven't even started my motorcycle up. I mean, there just isn't very many people walking around. It seems like the people that have come here are people that are actually seeking us out. They were specifically looking for us, not just walker buys but anyway i guess we're gonna go ahead and start it up anyways because katie's on me about not letting it run so we'll let her do it look at adam doing as he's told take the bike down what a good husband i've got
around showing you guys kind of what's going on over here at the Beaver Bar and whatnot. And then Katie called me and told me we have a special visitor that came to see us again. So I'm walking back over to our site. sitting on Katie's Riker and uh, Mickey likes it. I love it. Love it. It's super comfortable. It really is. It's a lot of fun. It is. If you want, you can take it for a ride. guys and there's that afternoon shower we were talking about coming in so uh, we had to cut our photo shoot a little bit short because uh, the Rikers getting all wet and uh, we wanted to keep the, the gorgeous model here nice and dry <laughs> All right, guys, it's about 10 minutes after four o'clock now. And, uh, you know, the rain came and man, this place really cleared out. We actually shut the bike back off because nobody was here. Normally we just let it run when it rains. This is actually pretty sad, but I do want to say thank you to uh, Mickey for coming on over and uh, visiting us again. I know everybody loves it when she's on the channel. It's been a while, but uh, we're going to plan her being on the channel a little bit more often. Um, but some of it, you're going to have to wait till we get the Patreon up and running to see.
story starts later on, we're also going to have an auction. Before Throwdown Jones takes the stage at 7, we're going to have an auction for our friends over at the Dollars in Cash. Go see Morgan and Amy at their lovely law firm. And check out all of our vendors and go grab yourself some Get a nice cold beer, kick back, relax, and get a home. Decisions, decisions. It is uh, 10 after 9 p.m. We have not had a bike on this lift since like 4 or something like that. It's It's been pretty bad. It's slow over here. We've been sitting around talking. We're having a good time, don't get us wrong. And if you look over that way, there's a lot going on across the street. I hear motorcycles for days, people screaming, audio systems up, but our parking lot is barren. There's just nobody here. And normally, on a Friday night, this parking lot is packed full. So I don't know why they're not coming over here. And uh, Master Luke was already closed up. You see over there. It's really slow. I want to close because I'm bored out of my mind. But I don't want to close because we still need like three more motorcycles to get our sales goal. And it's like if I close up, I guarantee I won't get it. If we stay open, it's a possibility. Alright, so we made the decision. It's, it's almost 10 o'clock. It's not quite there, but it is almost 10 o'clock. We're bored out of our mind. And uh, we decided it's time to close up. So we're going to go ahead and close this. And uh, we're going to end this video here because we're going to go over to the Beaver Bar. Apparently, they've got a wet t-shirt contest going on tonight. And I've never filmed that for you guys before. But this time I'm going to. But you're not going to see it here because you know damn well YouTube is not going to let me. So... It's footage that we're banking for another day, another time. I figure you guys want to do the Patreon channel. If uh, you guys are going to be paying a monthly fee to see it, I want to make sure that there's good stuff for you to see. So we're going to end this one here and get to work over there. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we did not make our sales today. Sad. I hate to say it. You know, I know most times when I close these videos, I'm proud to say that we did make our sales today. That did not happen. But uh, we'll try again tomorrow. So... Until the next time we see you, keep those engines running.